Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Google Authenticator to a new phone. So let's get started. All right, so Google Authenticator has made it a lot easier to transfer your codes over to a new phone. They have a new export feature, so I'm going to demonstrate that. Uh, I just got a new phone, uh, and this is my new phone here. I'm going to pull it up on the screen. All right, so this is the new phone, and I've already transferred everything over from my previous iPhone, and I did a phone-to-phone -phone transfer. So a lot of things transferred just fine. Uh, but if you look at Google Authenticator, uh, I have the app, but when I tap the app, it's empty. Right, it's acting as if it were a brand new device, which it is, of course. Google Authenticator is device specific. All right, so uh, we'll go through this uh, beginning here. These screens just explain how to add a new code to your Google Authenticator. Uh, and we can do that, but we have a lot of existing codes on our old phone. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So we'll hit get started here. And it's ready for me to sign a Q, uh, scan a QR code. So, but what I'm going to do is show you my old phone, which is this phone here. All right, now here on the old phone, if we open up my Google Authenticator, you can see that I have all of the codes. So basically, I just want to get these codes onto the new phone. So there's a new feature in Google Authenticator. Now, if yours does not look like this, then I would suggest updating your uh, Google Authenticator if you don't have automatic updates on so that you're using the latest version of Google Authenticator. Um, I have automatic updates on, so it just auto-updated uh, not too long ago, right? This fairly new version of Google Authenticator, but much easier than the old way, right? The old way we had to do one at a time. So let's start off. Look, we're gonna tap those three dots up there in the top, and we're gonna choose Export Accounts. We're gonna hit Continue, all right, and it can only do 10 at a time, uh, but that's fine. I probably have about uh, 30 or maybe 40 on here, maybe just 30, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna tap Export. Now notice what happens. It's gonna give me this QR code, all right? And so now I'm gonna take the new phone and I'm gonna choose Scan QR Code, all right? And I'm just gonna scan that phone and it just imported my first 10 Google Authenticator accounts, right? We'll just tap OK, and there we go. I've got the first 10. Now I want to uh, import the next 10. I'll hit Done on the new phone. Uh, it wants to know if I want to remove them. I'll go ahead and test one of mine out quickly here. I'm certain that this works fine, but I just want to make sure. I'll go ahead and sign into a cryptocurrency exchange that has Google Authenticator set up. All right, and then I'm gonna use my new phone and see how that goes, right? Hit verify. And all is right with the world, right? Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna go through and test all 10 of them. You can if you're meticulous, uh, but it will make it easier if we simply remove the accounts from the, new, from the old phone. Then we can just hit the first 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and hit remove accounts and it asked me if there's more and I'm like, yeah, there are. So I'll go ahead and continue with my export. I'll hit export and then it catches the next 10, All right? I'll hit export uh, down there on the right bottom and I get another QR code. All right, so let's just open up the new phone. Uh, now we're on the new phone and I'm just gonna hit that plus down there on the bottom right corner on the new phone, All right? And I'm gonna choose scan QR code. I can actually scan it from the computer. <laughs> it's gonna import another 10 accounts, which is cool. We're good there. All right, and I'll go back to the old phone and hit done. And it wants to know if I wanna remove those accounts, I'll say yes. All right, and there's more accounts on this device, so I'll go ahead and continue by hitting export accounts. It's gonna grab the next 10. Notice that uh, there's only two left there at the bottom after this. All right, so we'll hit export again. 
And then I'm over at the new phone now. I'm going to hit the plus down in the right corner there. We'll hit plus, scan QR code. I'll uh, scan the QR code from my computer again. I've imported another 10 accounts. There we go. Now I can hit done on the old phone. I'll go ahead and remove those accounts. And then there's two left, so I'll hit export again. Should get those last two for me. We'll hit export. All right, this QR code isn't as big as the others because uh, it's only got two accounts coded into it. I'll hit the plus on the new phone down in the bottom right corner. I'll choose scan QR code. Go ahead and scan that code from the computer. I imported two accounts and I'm done. Right, easy peasy. Very simple to uh, move your Google Authenticator over to your new phone. Took me less than five minutes. I'll go ahead and hit done on the other phone. We'll remove accounts, continue. And now my old phone is empty, right? There's no more uh, Google Authenticator codes on the old phone. Everything's been transferred over to the new phone and we're in business. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.